Oh, Gabrielle. We have come here today to celebrate the relationship of Gabriella and Noah, to join their lives together in a marriage overflowing with hopes and dreams. Gabrielle and Noah chose to make this commitment in front of family and friends who share in their love. They chose Indiana because it is where their love story began. Today is the culmination and yet the beginning of a rich and true love. In marriage, we not only say, I love you today, but also I promise to love you tomorrow, the next day, and always. Noah and Gabe first met each other at a Halloween swim team party at Indiana University of Pennsylvania. Anyone who knows Gabe knows that she tells it like it is. <laughs> Noah, as he's doing just now, offered his trademark smile, but not a word <laughs> of rebuke. <laughs> they ended up talking for over an hour. They had an immediate connection and knew from the start that they liked each other. Fast forward. Noah and Gabe were at a Penn State football game, but neither of them knew the other was there. They messaged each other, started talking, decided to hang out the next week. They became friends first before they actually started dating. Their first official date, Valentine's Day 2017. They also told me that My Funny Valentine by Frank Sinatra became a favorite song. They also stated, if you can make it four years at IUP, you can make it forever. <laughs> Do you, Noah, take Gabriella to be your wife in good times and bad? I do. Do you promise to love, adore, and encourage her? I do. To share the good times and achievements as well as the hard times and disappointments? I do. To keep her in sickness and in sorrow and to be loyal to her forevermore? I do. Do you, Gabrielle, take Noah to be your husband in good times and bad? I do. Do you promise to love, adore, and encourage him? I do. Oh to God. share the good times and achievements as well as the hard times and disappointments? I do. To keep him in sickness and in sorrow and to be loyal to him forevermore? I do. Your rings seal the vows of marriage and represent a promise for everlasting love. It is a physical manifestation of the promises of joining the bride and groom together. Wear these rings as a reminder of the vows you have just spoken. Gabriella. Take this ring. Take this ring. As a symbol of our love. As a symbol of our love. Take this ring. As a symbol of our love. As a symbol of our love. Gabriella and Noah, you have promised each other your love, devotion, and commitment. It is with this in mind that I pronounce you husband and wife and present you publicly as Mr. and Mrs. Noah and Gabriella Brockway. You may kiss the bride.
Yahweh, you know his father, best man, impressive. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't tell a brief story of uh, Noah asked me to be his best man. I believe it was supposed to be a year ago. And the thing that was most uh, uh, tear jerking to me as I, I got home, I can't remember if I was home first and Noah got there, he carried a six pack of beer into the kitchen and put it on the counter. And I, I really walled up and thought, I can't believe this is the first time Noah's walled me a six pack of beer. <laughs> <laughs> but then he pulled out a beer and this thing was on one of the beers. And I, Really, it's going away. Here we go. <laughs> it really is an honor of a lifetime. I mean, I've, uh, you know, so proud of Noah. We, you know, obviously really close. And for him to do that for me is quite a, an amazing honor. So, raise our glasses and toast the long and happy marriage to Noah and Gabriella. about two of my favorite people in the world, my big brother and my best friend. I met Gabriella at the swim meet that she drove to come see Noah swim in New York. And I grew up going to every single one of Noah's swim meets, so if you've ever been a spectator at a swim meet, you know that they can be a little rough. And if I could go back, I'd still go to every single swim meet. But when I knew that she was driving four hours to come watch my brother swim, I really wondered if she knew what she was getting herself into. <laughs> But she drove four hours to come see him, and as my dad explained, sometimes Noah got a little uptight. He really worked hard and wanted to do well. Um, so when this girl pulled up and instantly made my brother start laughing, smiling, happy, I think my whole family knew that this was something special. I'm not sure if Noah remembers this, but there was a time about seven years ago when me and Noah were sitting on the back porch, and it was before he met Gabriella, before I met Andrew. And he gave me some advice that I think about almost every day. He said, Parker, someday we're going to find that person that cares about us just as much as we care about them. And I'm so excited to be standing here today, seeing that Noah and Gabriella have found that person in each other. So cheers to these two finding their person. 